Differences between crocodiles and alligators Crocodiles and alligators are the closest animals we have to dinosaurs. They can be traced back to 70 million years ago. Since then, these living fossils have changed very little in appearance or behavior. Alligators and crocodiles are similar to each other in size, behavior, and appearance. It can sometimes be quite difficult to tell them apart. This is especially true in the southern United States, where both species live. If a crocodilian has you confused, then fear not. There are many subtle but significant differences between alligators and crocodiles. This guide will teach you on how to spot the difference between the alligators and crocodiles. Hello viewers and welcome to another episode on the channel where we shall be taking a look at the differences between a crocodile and an alligator. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like and turn on notifications so you'll be one of the first to see our videos when next we drop. Location when trying to compare an alligator versus a crocodile, your location is the first thing you should think about. If you're in the United States, you will not see a crocodile unless you're at the southern tip of Florida. Any other type of crocodilian in any other state is certainly an alligator. American gators can be found anywhere from East Texas to North Carolina. You can also take a look at the environment. Crocodiles can swim in open streams due to their ability to regulate salt. Most alligators tend to stay closer to the shore, remaining in swamplands and lake. Color Next, you will want to take a good look at their body color. Color is one of the easiest ways to tell the difference between crocodiles and alligators. Most crocodiles come in shades of green, grey, brown or black. They usually have a mottled or speckled pattern, which helps them to blend in with algae and substrate. American crocodiles are normally slate grey and have a white to yellow underside. This dark and light coloration is called counter shading. It allows them to blend into the water while on the hunt. Other species of crocodile come in different shades, depending on the colors of their environment. For example, the saltwater crocodile is the best example of typical green crocodile. Its dark green scales help it blend with algae. The Nile crocodile comes in deep green and brown speckles that match the substrate of the Nile River. In contrast, alligators usually come in dark green to black. The American alligator has a shiny dark green that can look almost black in certain lights. It has a much darker color than a crocodile. Just like a crocodile, their colors will vary based upon their habitat. Crocodiles tend to live in open water areas with much more algae, and because of this, they are usually going to come in greener shades to match. Alligators tend to stay near the bank of rivers and lakes. Their colors are designed to blend in with the mud and the substrate. Size Crocodiles are bigger than alligators. Most crocodiles are larger than alligators. The saltwater crocodile is the largest and can reach lengths of up to 7 meters. The American crocodile reaches a maximum length of 6 meters, but is usually between 4 and 5 meters. It weighs anywhere from 362 to just over 454 kilograms. American alligators are smaller than crocodiles. Male alligators reach an average length of between 3.6 and 4 meters and can weigh up to 454 kilograms. Females are between 2.4 and 3 meters and weigh in at 227 to 318 kilograms. An American crocodile is larger than an alligator by about 1 to 2 meters on average. However, it can be difficult to eyeball the size of an animal when seen from a distance. For this reason, size is one of the hardest ways to identify each species. Shape When you first see a crocodilian, the snout should be the first thing you look at 
If you want to know what it is, snout and jaw shape are the easiest way to tell the difference between alligators and crocodiles. Alligators have large broad snouts that are shaped like the letter U. Every crocodile species has pointed V-shaped snouts. A crocodile snout might be very wide or very narrow, but it will always have the same pointed shape. Their jaws also close from the top to down, rather from the bottom to the top. This overbite and underbite mean a crocodile's jaw exposes both its top and bottom teeth in a sort of jacked formation. If you look closely, you will see five of its bottom teeth. Unlike a crocodile, the alligator's jaw closes downwards and you can only see their top teeth. Notches in their bottom jaw hide the bottom teeth when their mouth is shut. Of course, you do not want to get close enough to a crocodile or an alligator to be able to see their teeth, mind you. Bite Force Crocodile's teeth are sharp and pointed because they are designed for tearing. Crocodiles have incredible bite strength of about 3,700 pounds of force per square inch. The alligator's jaw is meant for crushing prey instead of tearing. That is why their teeth are cone-shaped rather than pointed. Their bite strength is about 2,500 psi. Skin Crocodiles and alligators both have dome pressure receptors on their skin. These receptors allow them to regulate water pressure when swimming and detect ripples in the water. Alligators' dome pressure receptors are visible as tiny black spots near their jaw. The dome pressure receptors of a crocodile are translucent and scattered all over its body. This is one of the reasons why they swim better in open water when compared to gators. Crocodiles also have sword glands on their tongues, which allow them to regulate in high salinity areas. Alligators do not have any sword glands at all. Habitat Most species of crocodiles live in marshes and wetlands alongside rivers and lakes. Sometimes they may venture out into fast-moving streams, rivers, and channels because they can live in salty waters. Alligators normally live closer to the shore. Their natural habitat is mostly swamplands, lakes, and low-flow areas of rivers. They are not able to live in saline waters. Temperature is the reason why the American alligator lives in more states than a crocodile. Both species are cold-blooded, but crocodiles need a higher temperature to survive. You can find them in temperature ranges from 30 to 40 degrees Celsius. Alligators can survive in temperatures as low as 26 degrees Celsius before becoming dormant. Alligators are more resistant to lower temperatures and they can live in colder areas. The American alligator's northernmost range reaches North Carolina this is the American crocodile's northernmost range of the southern tip of Florida. If you are in the US and not in South Florida, what you have seen is probably an alligator. Age Crocodiles can be traced back from 70 million years ago to the late Cretaceous period. But their ancestry goes back even farther than that. The animals that would later become crocodiles can be traced back to the Jurassic period. These aquatic crocodiles are known as Thalatosocia and lived over 200 million years ago. The first land crocodile is considered to be the Sarcosuchus. It appeared in fossil records about 110 million years ago and was over 40 feet long. Alligators as we know them today can also be traced back to the late Cretaceous period, but their ancestors are not as old as crocodiles' ancestors. Early alligators include Dinosuchus and Morasuchus. These species are both from the late Cretaceous period and not the Jurassic period. If we go by fossil records, crocodiles are slightly older than alligators. Numbers Both crocodiles and alligators both belong to the order Crocodilia. This order also includes caimans and gharials. 
Alligators and crocodiles belong to the same order, but they do not belong to the same family. Crocodiles belong to the family Crocodilidae, which includes 13 different species. These species can be found in the US, Australia, India, Africa, and Southeast Asia. Interestingly, the red-eyed crocodile is a species of skink and not croc. Alligators belong to the family Alligatoridae. This family includes two species of alligators and five species of caimans. You can find two of crocodilians in the US, American alligator, Alligator mississippiensis, and American crocodile, Crocodilus acutus. Behavior Larger crocodiles such as the Nile and Salty are known for their attacks on humans. Crocs are opportunistic predators that will go after anything that moves. A hungry one will not hesitate to go after a human that gets too close. There are several hundred reported crocodile attacks on humans every year. This is more than the number of annual shark attacks. Most of these attacks happen in Australia, where the salty leaves, but the Nile crocodile is very dangerous too. American crocs are shy compared to other species. They are more likely to shy away from humans unless they are provoked. Alligators make up less than 6% of all reported crocodilian attacks. An alligator is often more afraid of you than you are of it. They will only attack when disturbed or when it is protecting its eggs or its young. Alligators and crocodiles might look lazy while they are basking in the sun, but both can easily outrun a human. Speed is one area where gators have an advantage. Alligators are much faster. On land, an alligator can hit speeds of up to 30 miles per hour. Crocodiles can only reach about 20 miles per hour over a very short distance. In water, an alligator's speed is slowed to about 25 miles per hour. A croc speed is also slowed to about 18 miles per hour. From all these differences given, you should be able to tell the difference between an alligator versus a crocodile. The main thing to remember is that alligators and crocodiles are different species. They can be identified by their jaw shape, size, and color. Alligators are dark green or black, have U-shaped snouts, tiny black spots, and are smaller than crocodiles. Crocodiles are bigger, have V-shaped snouts, and are more aggressive. They also have visible bottom teeth and are light green, brown, or light gray. If you found this video interesting, please don't forget to leave a like and comment on what you found more intriguing in these species of crocodilians. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to get notified when next we upload similar videos on our channel.